Hi everyone, I'm Andrea and I'm here to show you the lots of happy card kit and there is a lot to love in this all-inclusive card kit. This kit makes 20 all occasions cards and there are four each of five designs and here's an example of just each of the designs. And as you can see some of the cards are designed large enough to mail and some are designed for hand delivery. For example, this one would be so cute attached to a gift. These cards offer a lot of wow without having to spend too much time on crafting. Having multiples of the same design make it simple to assemble your cards quickly so you can spend your time on the fun part, the stamping and coloring. This kit comes with all the paper pieces you need to complete the cards. Additionally, it includes a set of four watercolor pencils. You get Fleur de Flamingo, Lemon Lime Twist, Old Olive, and Rich Razzleberry. And the Fleur de Flamingo and Lemon Lime Twist pencils are exclusive to this kit. You also get an ink spot, a stamp set, and a block. I really like this stamp set. The greetings are super usable and it comes with two extra floral images that can be used to stamp on your envelopes, like that. Or when you're finished with the kit, you can use the combo of the flowers and the greetings to stamp on other projects. The stamp set is exclusive to the kit. The kit also includes some Stampin' Dimensionals, but you will need some additional adhesive as well. We offer a full line of nice quality adhesives. Be sure to check out our selection on our website. You'll also want a pair of scissors and something to measure your ribbon with so that you can cut it down and a pencil sharpener. This kit is pretty straightforward, but I want to walk you through the projects and give you some tips and tricks. When you open your kit, you'll have some sheets with vellum leaves. And I found the easiest way to punch these out and save time was to leave these sheets stacked up the way they are and then press all of the leaves out at the same time. Just be gentle so that you don't tear the vellum, but they come out quite easily like that. These are your stamping sheets. You will stamp your greetings on these elements here. And the greetings in the stamp set are sized perfectly so you can stamp any size greeting onto any of these elements. So if all you want is birthday cards, you can use the birthday greeting in every piece. I recommend not popping these out of these sheets until you've stamped them. Leaving them in the sheets gives it a little extra stability and makes it easier to stamp. I have the same recommendation for the coloring sheets as well. I recommend leaving them in the sheet and not popping them out. Some of these edges on these elements are pretty delicate, so it makes it much easier to color these and gives it extra stability if you leave it inside the sheet. The floral elements are meant for you to color with the watercolor pencils dry, but these are watercolor pencils, and so I want to mention a cool product that you can purchase and use if you'd like to, and this is called a blender pen. And to do that, you would just color your image and then you go over it with the blender pen. These floral elements are printed on a thinner piece of cardstock, so we don't recommend using water or an aqua painter with this kit, but the blender pen will work really nicely. Here's an example of what I mean. So on this card, I colored with the colored pencils dry. And on this col card, I colored with the colored pencils and then I went over it with the blender pen. And basically all it's done is it's just blended those colors together and made it kind of smoother looking. Um, but you can see that you get a really rich dynamic image just using the colored pencil. So it's totally up to you. It's a fun watercoloring technique, but it's not necessary. You get really nice results just using the colored pencils. When you're coloring, I recommend starting out with a light touch and then adding extra color as you prefer. It's always easier to add extra color than to take it away. And you can add shading a couple of ways. Start first with your lighter color and then shade it with the darker second color. Or you can color lightly with one color and then press harder to get a more tone on tone look. So for example, on this flower here, I'm gonna start out with my flirty flamingo and I'm just gonna color it very lightly. I'll come in with my rich razzleberry and I'll just add some darker elements. Then for the leaves, I'm gonna color them with my lemon lime twist and I want that more tone on tone look. So I'm gonna color it in kind of lightly and then I'm just gonna come back over with my pencil and press a little bit harder and get some shading that way. Just like that. The cards are really simple to assemble. I wanted to give you a closer look at each one and show you all the paper pieces that you need. 
For this card, these are the paper pieces that you need to assemble. You will need to cut six inches of your trim, or that's 15.2 centimeters of your ribbon. For this project, you'll need two of your vellum leaves. And I wanted to show you that dimensionals were used on the top flower here and the greeting. And I kind of wanted to show you what it looked like once you put your vellum leaves down. So, um, so you can kind of get an idea of the dimension. So you'll put these down flat, add this flat, then you'll put dimensionals on this piece and this piece to build it up and give it that really nice dimension. For this thank you card, here are the pieces that you will need. One little bit of advice on this card is that once you get this folded, it's really easy to lose track of the orientation. So you don't adhere your card on the wrong way. When you start to assemble your card, just make sure you've got your opening oriented in the right spot before you glue everything down. You may also need to trim the stems off of your vellum leaves because they're a little bit longer than um, the space here. You'll need two pieces of ribbon for this card, and you'll need to trim them to three and a half inches, or that's 8.9 centimeters. And the thank you greeting is adhered on using Stampin' Dimensionals. Here are all the pieces that you need for this card. On this one, the only tip I really have is when you go to adhere this down, this angles like this so that it fits on the card and goes into the envelope the right way. So at first that might feel a little awkward, but that is the way it's supposed to go. And the Lots of Love greeting is adhered on with Stampin' Dimensionals. Here are the pieces you need for this card. And I wanted to show you an easy way to adhere on your vellum leaves. So turn this element over, put a little bit of adhesive on the back, and then you can orient it the right way and then use that adhesive to get your vellum leaf placement exactly where you want it. That way you can stick it down and you'll know it'll line up perfectly. You'll need two pieces of ribbon for this project and you need to cut those to three and a half inches or 8.9 centimeters. And the I'm here for you greeting is adhered with use, using Stampin' Dimensionals. Here are all the pieces you need for this card and the only tip I have is um, that the greeting is adhered on with Stampin' Dimensionals. Here's a look at all the cards once more. You are going to have a blast making this kit. You are gonna have so much fun. In fact, you might be asking, how can you make more? Well, good news. We also offer a refill kit that includes the paper pieces to make 20 more cards. It doesn't come with a stamp set, block, or ink, so make sure you buy the full kit first and the buy the refill when you need extra cards. To get your own Lots of Happy Card Kit, contact your local demonstrator, or you can visit our website at www.stampinup.com. Happy stamping!